Alright guys, so today I'm going to do something different here. I'm going to make a commentary video actually. And I found this video like 10 years ago. Oh wow, 10 years ago. Well, it's 10 years ago. 2011? That feels like yesterday. I'm not even kidding. But anyway, since Valentine's Day has passed, I might as well delay my Minecraft series. I probably won't even get that thing done to be honest. And... Yeah, this video I saw, this guy, I saw a guy, um, this guy made a top 10 list of the hottest female Sonic characters. Oh my god, I don't even know how that's gonna turn out. That's like, that's like furry heaven right there. I hope to god it's not furry heaven right there. It most likely is. I don't even know why I'm acting like I've never seen it before because I've seen it several times. And, um, but I did not realize how bad this video was until now. It's already been known that this fan base gets a lot of shit to begin with. But, yeah. Um. Yeah, um. Okay, anyway. I'm wasting time. Let's get this video started. Sonic the Hedgehog. One of the greatest and most attractive characters ever thought of. He can run at sound speed, take out enemies in a flash, and best of all, he's blue-colored and knows how to handle the females. Speaking of females, the Sonic universe might also be classified as hot chick heaven. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, my fake laugh. No, but deadass, when I saw like the beginning of the video, and I saw that I actually cracked up when I saw this hot chick heaven. I mean, you mean he could be talking about the humans in this video, right? <laughs> Right? Grab yourself a snack and a glass of orange juice and try not to reach through the screen because here we go! Oh my god. <laughs> I feel like this guy is probably the neighbor's kid. If you didn't know what the neighbor's kid is. Neighbor's kid. Someone who's beyond human comprehension. He typically does weird things and has no soul. Does this guy even have a soul? He does not feel pain. And he can hold up to 36 eggs in his cheek. He's capable of lifting a horse with one hand, as well as running 43 miles per hour. Right there, he runs 43 miles per hour. You can eat up to six cats in one. If you see him staring at you, it's already too late. You'll probably be locked in his sick dungeon under his bed. <laughs> but yeah, when he says grab yourself a snack and a glass of orange juice, you already know the video is going to be very serious and very freaking good, right? Uh, and besides, he didn't even do the Sonic run like very well. He didn't, even get, he didn't do the Naruto run like every other person does. Number 10. Try this question on for size. Who chases and hugs Sonic all the time and wields a powerful hammer? Why, it's Amy Rose, of course! Oh my god. Amy Rose. Ah, so it is about furries after all. I hope he's just talking about how cool they are, but based on the title, Hot is at this point, it's very, pretty much bestiality. I mean, I got nothing against furries, but when, when it comes to stuff like this, it's just, I don't even know, immoral. <laughs> like, they can't even consent, can they? <laughs> Make her attractive are the fact that she wears a dress? And when have you ever seen three big, very smooth arcs of hair sticking out of a person's forehead? When have you ever seen three strands of hair sticking out of a person's forehead? I can name a few. A few. Who's at number 9? It's this alien plant girl from a distant planet, Cosmo from Sonic X. Oh, now we're talking about plants? Oh my god, this, this video is a whole... Plants now. Plants. Dendrophilia. Oh my god, I just realized something. How old are these characters, too? I, for, I just forgot. How old is Amy Rose? I haven't played a Sonic game in a while. <laughs> She's 12 years old? What the fuck? Yo, what the fuck? <laughs> and I'm whispering because I don't want to wake up any of people in the house. <laughs> but what the fuck? <laughs> Eight years old? That is below the age of consent. This is pedophilia as well. Oh no, this video. <laughs> I can't take this video seriously. I, I mean, like, it was uploaded 10 years ago. I hope the guy changed, but <laughs> Jesus Christ. Numero 8. Ah, numero 8. Si. Mientras trae los perifilos en Estados Unidos, trae los perifilos en México también, si. Cream the rabbit's mother, Vanilla. She's attractive and is the size of an average human mother. <laughs> size of an average human mother. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, so not only we got furries, um, plants, underage people, oh no, 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 oh my god, I don't even know what to categorize this video when I upload it now. And now we got MILFs. <laughs> uh, this man, this man's sure a man of culture right here. <laughs> I don't, I don't know why you gotta say the, the size of your average human mother. <laughs> what? <laughs> what number's next? Seven, of course. Wave the Swallow from Sonic Riders. 
People always root for the good guys, but sometimes the bad guys steal the show. Bad guys, yes. You gotta include all the bad bitches on your- Every every top 10 hottest female list needs a bad bitch, dude. I think she's like the- Aside from the last one, I think she's like the only legal person on here. Her mechanical IQ is equal to Tails. She also happens to be the smartest member of the Babylon Rose. I wonder why she isn't the leader. Like Jet the Hawk and Storm the Albatross, her specialty is riding the airboards called Extreme Gear. With two very long and smooth feathers extending from her head to her calves and droopy eyes, Wave will rock your socks. If only we could see her take wing. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god, the way you say it. If only we could see her take wing. Numero six. Oh no, numero, numero six. Now he's trying to bring all the, the pedophiles and furries and all those freaking people from Quebec and France as well. This is this is sad. Oh god. Okay, I'm gonna stop here for a second. Like, what? One thing I like about this video that I found funny. It looks like this video was made in the 90s, the freaking 90s. I know everyone's got their own style, but not gonna lie. I kind of like it. I'll give him props because most half past three videos were half-assed. I'm not even kidding. Not gonna lie, I got a lot going on, so yeah. And half of his editing skills are better than my freaking me playing TF2 right now, as you see. Number one, two, three, four, five! Ah, ah, ah! Mina Mongoose from the Sonic Archie comics. How could you go wrong with a girl who looks like this? Oh, what the fuck? She's not freaking human, and she's probably under age, and, the, and most of all, it's not even fucking real. I don't know. And if they were real, then how can they freaking consent? I don't. I don't know. <laughs> she could run nearly as fast as Sonic, and she went from being a freedom fighter to being a pop star singer. Next to Princess Sally, she looks more humanoid than the other characters. Who could top someone who has long mauve hair? Hair. What I noticed from like all the other people, you start. To Talking about hair, I mean, yeah, you really must like hair a lot. This female standing at number four, Blaze the Cat. One word, pyrokinesis. How would you like to have that superpower? I mean, Blaze could play around in the Himalayas for hours and she would be perfectly fine. Also, her 45 degree ponytail makes her look like a Native American. What the fuck? I just noticed that his 40, 45 degree pony makes herself look like a Native American, yes. So we gotta include all the races as well, right? The, 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 the whites, the Asian, the black, kind of stereotypically in this video, but oh my god. I, I gotta give him props to that. He's, he's um, very diverse in his video, despite... yeah. I really love the fact that her love interest is the telekinetic hedgehog, Silver. I'm sorry, but has anyone ever noticed that Silver's hair looks like a freaking cannabis? I don't even know what people in the freaking studio were thinking of. Like, what? He's, he's, got, he's got chest hair looking like hair looks like pure cannabis. Who thought of that? And I guess, like, when you're high, you start feeling like you have telekinetic... Telekinetic... Telekin how do you pronounce that word? Telekinetic powers. Like, hey, I guess this character is inspired by pot smokers, I don't know. Next up is number three. What's better than having a female with cascading quills? How about a female with cascading quills and hair? Julie Sue, the Echidna, another Archie comic exclusive, has that feature. She's smart, knows exactly what to do as a freedom fighter, and even trained Amy once. She's also the girl of Knuckles' dreams. <laughs> Lucky him. Her older self in the series, Mobius, X years later, is just downright hot. Just look at that long ponytail. Now we're talking. Oh my god. <laughs> the way he says downright hot, it's like he's saying he's about a nut on the fucking screen. Just notice, he talks about hair a lot. He's got some hair fetish and something. I mean, hey, you do you, man, but... Uh, he even goes for the start here, ends here stuff. Oh my god. Oh no, I can't take this video freaking seriously, man. It's too funny. It's too freaking funny, man. Oh yeah, I just noticed. I know she had prosthetic limbs. Man, this man really expanding his category. Man, I, apart from, apart from these guys are freaking furries and stuff. Honestly, the fact that they're furries, just are uh, furries and underage, just go pff, all the way straight down to the... But overall, Sally Acorn really stands out amongst the slew of females, not just because she's Sonic's first official love interest. Oh no, oh, 
Oh, ew, I, I can't. Uh, I swear, I've seen some weird stuff before from like could that one Chris Chan channel to this guy to a lot of people or that one guy who tried making Sonic as a religion from that one guy that made commentaries over these Sonic fans. I can't say the word because it's pretty offensive now these days. But Jesus Christ, dude. This is why their fan base gets a bad rep. Like, for example, I had a classmate in high school. She was all over Sonic. Sonic Frozen was all she talked about. Did you want to marry him? Do all these kinds of things? I don't, I don't, romantic or sexual or it's like an, her as an imaginary friend. I mean, like, I'm trying my best not to sound like an asshole here, but, like, a lot of people picked on her when I was, like, one of the only few people that didn't pick on her, because, like, come on, guys, but I'm just talking about, like, my experiences of what I've seen. This is why they get a bad rep, and look at this image right here, like, oh, God, I mean, at the end of the day, I guess you can do your own thing, but I guess for me, love stories in general just make me freaking cringe, but, like, this is just, like, People having fetishes over this thing, it's like, oh my goodness. Ugh. So, you've seen a pyrokinetic cat, a swallow, two gorgeous echidnas, and even a princess. Who could possibly top those kinds of females? Well, get ready folks, this is the number one hottest Sonic the Hedgehog female character. <laughs> But, oh my god, he's got to zoom into the freaking <laughs> Rouge the Bat. If anybody denies it, how dare you? This woman can fly, she's as strong as Knuckles, and is a femme fatale seducing other characters into getting what she wants. Instead of having one love interest, she has two, Knuckles and Shadow the Hedgehog. Man, I like how you gotta put number one as the baddest bitch of them all. And she's got two love interests, what the f- Ah, uh, the number one's always gotta be the biggest hole of them all, right? Side man, side... I don't even know why my English is bad. And it's funny, because English is my first language, and I can't speak it. There actually have been situations where Rouge's cleavage has been exposed, but it eventually got censored. What a price to pay. He says, what a price to pay, like, it's, oh my, he says, what a price to pay, like, he's, like, so ashamed that he can't, is she even legal, is the thing, that's, how, that's the number one question I gotta ask for almost all of these characters, are they even legal, maybe in the Philippines they're freaking legal, because I think that the age of consent over there is, like, 12, oh, some of these people are lower than the age of consent in the Philippines, like, Jesus Christ. I think the best part about this beauty is that she wears three different outfits, unlike the other female characters. I noticed he's talking about outfits. Outfits. Let's talk about outfits as well. It's like role playing on the on your favorite kids website. There you have it, folks. Those were the hottest female chicks in the Sonic universe. I hope you enjoyed it. Happy Valentine's Day, and I'll see you later. Here we go. Oh my god. And you still runs the wrong way. You gotta stick your arms out, man. Like now, this video, seeing this video for the first time, in like ten years, it was like, what the hell. I did not think it would be this freaking bad. And the fact that he got a zoom into those bat breasts, oh yeah, you really must like that. But for real, aside from all the... Uh, I like how he mentioned like every freaking category on your favorite kids website. Jokes aside, one of the interesting top 10 videos on YouTube, because it talks about who the hottest character are of all races. All ethnicities, species, and yeah, there you have it. I don't have any ill will towards this guy. It's just, I'm just trying to critique this video. This video is like freaking weird as hell when I found it at first. I think I'll try doing gaming or other commentary. Let me know my five subscribers. Happy late Valentine's Day. This is my Valentine's Day video. I'll try to upload as much as I can, but with school going on, it's pretty freaking hard. I work and I got school. It's almost impossible though. <laughs> I don't even have free time. I don't even have free time to eat. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I guess I'll catch you guys in the next one. So peace.